Hello everyone and welcome to Brief Latex Tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn how to write geometrical vectors and related operators in latex. For example, you will learn how to write vectors that look like this. Then I will explain you the issue with the vec operator that will produce this weird looking notation. Then to fix this issue we will use the override arrow shown over here. Then I will also explain you that you can use a left arrow or maybe something like this, a double left or right arrow. Finally, you will learn how to write vector products and scalar products. And that's it. But before I start with explanations, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, first we will learn how to write vectors over a single letter or over a single character. To do that, I will simply type begin align to start my align environment for writing equations. And inside of this environment, I will type vec. And this will actually add a right arrow over a letter A. Let's see the output. Here it is. Perfect. You can, for example, do something like this. And let's write vector over alpha. And here it is. Works as expected. However, let's see what will happen if I try to use vec over several letters or over several symbols. Let's see. So again, I will start the align environment and then I will close the align environment. And over here I will type, for example, vec ABC. And then I will do something like this, vec let's say alpha, beta, pi, and let's see the output. Okay, you see the issue over here. The right arrow is only written over the middle character or over the middle symbol. How to fix this issue? To fix this, we will use this command over right arrow. And we will specify the text ABC. And again, I will use over right. Be careful here how you spell it. Over right arrow. And then I will simply copy and paste these three Greek letters. Okay, so let's see the output. Oh, wow. Big improvement, right? Now, the right arrow is over A, B, and C, as well as over alpha, beta, and pi. Perfect. This arrow is in the right direction. How about writing the arrow in the left direction? Let's learn how to do that. Again, start the begin align environment and close this environment. I'm not sure, maybe some of you are used to writing begin equation. However, I feel that begin align is more powerful. And you can simply write over left and you have this option, over left arrow. However, I made an error, error here, since I didn't want that, I want simply over left arrow. And then I will simply specify, for example, ABC. And let's see the output, perfect. Now the arrow is in the left direction. This is what we want. Maybe we want the arrow in both directions. Let's see how to do that. Again, let's start the align environment over here. And then I will use this option over. Let's type right. And nothing happens. You need to type over left right arrow. You have this option. Okay. And let's now specify ABC and let's see the output. Perfect. Here it is. Now, let's learn how to write the vector product. For example, I want to type A cross B. Let's learn how to do that. It's very simple. There are two ways to do that, depending on how you like it. So I will type first vec A, then I will type times, and this is the symbol for the vector product. And then I will type vec B, and then you will obtain something like this, A cross B. Or maybe you can write something like this. This is also a nice way of writing it. So we will type something like this. V 
vec A, and then you have this O times vec B. And let's see the output. Here is the output. Now you have this nice circle with X inside. And finally, let's learn how to write the dot product. The dot product is super easy. And I will simply change this O times. And I will type C dot. And you also have another option that we will explore. And let's see the output. And here it is. This is a scalar product. However, you also have C dot P. Let's see what's that. Okay, it kind of looks similar. Not a big difference. Let's see it again. So it's only the kind of spacing between A and B. Okay, and that's it. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.